<laughs> okay. I think for the rest of the Commodore 64 games, we are just going to use... We are just going to use my camera, so that way the audio won't sound so derpy. Yay. All right, so let's see. Where's the Commodore 64 games? Oh, right there. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune 2. And, uh, Marty, I just clicked the like button on that one. Nice. <laughs> and right now on Connor's birthday bank, we have $40,400. Yay. Yay. In case you guys are wondering what we're talking about, um, we were watching a video of when Marty was younger back in the day. And uh, it was on his friend's YouTube channel. The video is called Ball to the Balls. Yes. Yes. Which I will say, it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on accident. It wasn't on purpose. Wait. Completely unscripted. Yep, not on purpose. Not by accident. Wait. Not on uh, purpose. Yeah, by accident. <laughs> <laughs> not on purpose. Not by accident. No. Not, not on purpose. Completely by accident. Just at the right place at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, Marty, that is probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Oh, good. And get this, though. Marty was just 10 while I was yep. 23. Yep, that was filmed way, way back in 2010. But back in 2010, um, I didn't even know who Marty was. No, you didn't. Uh, what time of 2010 was that uh, taken, Marty? You know? I want to say around the summer of that the year. The summertime? Okay. Oh, that was I, a few months before meeting Aubrey on Skype for the first time. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember what month it was, though. <laughs> Dumbingle. Dumbingle. <laughs> yeah, and this is segment number four of Connor's birthday special, because after this we have one more Commodore 64 game to do. Uh, wheel Commodore 64 game, then we move over to the DOS. Yay. Alright, we just gotta get this thing going here. This takes a little while to load, folks, so thank you for your patience as you're watching. Yes. And then, of course, after Connor's birthday special is done, I've got Marty's birthday special to do. Yay! Yay! I know oh, 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 I am <clears throat> Who is Kermit the Frog? Dot <laughs> Network! <laughs> <laughs> Who is Kermit the Frog? <laughs> Never gets old. No, it doesn't. You what what? crazy antics will we come up with next? Who knows? Oh, I don't know. I'm going my camera. Why not? Okay, ta da! Yay! Young fella! Yep, young fella ain't gonna be so young anymore in a few weeks. I definitely don't want any S game I may consider doing for your birthday special, Marty. Well, make that my two and one birthday special for you and Connor. Let's say, don't forget about Connor. This yeah, I almost special. forgot about that. But anyways, one NES game I think I may throw in for yours on the for you and Connor on my side, Marty, is Tetmo Bowl. Nice. Nice. Now the audio doesn't sound so derpy. Yeah, that's probably what was running over the at the same time. Alright. As we try to add on to Connor's hey. birthday bank, which stands at forty thousand four hundred dollars. We have Donna facing me. And we have Agnes facing me, and our top dollar value for round one is, of course, $1,000. Of course. And the category is Ball to the Balls. <laughs> no, the category is Thing. No, the category is Thing. <laughs> okay, uh, Marty, I'm writing this down. What category is that? Y'all were not expecting that, were you? No. <laughs> the category in reality is thing. <laughs> okay, Marty, I just wrote it down as a CH card. 
<laughs> oh, that's perfect. Is there an L? There's one, yeah. Ball to the balls. <laughs> category is ball to the balls. <laughs> and, uh, don't get fun, of course. I feel like that one's gonna be a running gag. For a while. Alright, 300. Is there a D? Ball to the balls. Wait until Frankie hears about this. Oh, oh. He's probably just gonna be like. I think what? I'm gonna go ahead and buy a vowel. He's Marty, I can guarantee you right now, once Frankie finds out about this, he's gonna turn it into a running gag. He's yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Alright, well, there are two E's. Uh, I'll spin again. No. Oh, please stop, wheel. 250, thank God. Is there an R? There are three of them. Ooh. Oh, and just like that, I know the solution. What? Yeah, I know it. Let's see, I have $1,500. I think I'd like to keep going. Here's some more. 400. Is there an S? You're in luck. We have one. Okay, I Aubrey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good old I King. We'll be hearing from him later on this birthday special down the road. 200 only. An M. So I have $2,100. Do I want to keep going? What the freaking heck? Yes. Yeah. I got your Roopa. I got your Koopa. Woo! No! <laughs> 200. Is there a B? There is B. 2300. Do I want to take that last spin or not? Uh. Uh. No guts, no glory. Let's do it. No guts, no glory. Oh my god, why did you put in the chat? 208. This is funny! Alright, well, $2,500. Lobster Thermador. Only vowels left. Lobster Thermador. Oh, I misspelled Thermador. Oh, no. Uh -oh. That's a Bikarupa right there. But it turn my rain. Ow. No. It's with an I, not an A. Oh. Son of a biscuit. Don't worry about it. Just shake it off. That's what I'm doing. Shake it off. Shake it off. All right, round two. Top dollar value is still $1,000, and the category is person. And the and person besides, is... I'm definitely not the only one to misspell answers to Wheel of Fortune puzzles. I've done that myself a few times. Yep. yep. And the person and is Devin Blingle. Blingle. That's right. Hi there, it's your boy, Devin Blingle. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, at, least, at least one vlog in the next few weeks. What kind of vlog, Devin Blingle? Maybe, maybe two. I know. I know one definitely is going to be my birthday party where I'm like one big birthday party. Nice. At my dad's workplace. It's supposed to be like 67 people coming to this party in a few weeks. Nice. Uh, how many did you say, Marty? 77? 67. 77. Oh, 67. Um, I don't think your house is going to be big enough to fit all that, that many people. I just imagine we're having it at my dad's workplace. Uh oh. Okay, well, I didn't hear that part the first time, so don't I miss <laughs> Thank you, Wario Leota. <laughs> Wario Leota. That's not even... No. Okay, thank you, Wario Ball to the Balls. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you like that, old man? You want a piece of me? I want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. That's what she said. <laughs> Come on, son. You don't want none of this. Now you're gonna get it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite scene of all time in Happy Gilmore. I think you've had enough. No, no. Oh, you've had enough. 
bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm off to see you, Marty. I gotta lose a turn. Hi, welcome to my office. Glad you decided to come. <laughs> Not in that way. Get that out of your head. Um, here's my tuxedo room. Over here, so for three next tuxedos under there. Here's my outfit. So they look nice. Here's my dresser. And get in my outfit. <laughs> And Marty grabs me by my shirt collar and just tosses me out the door. <laughs> Wild! <laughs> and I land flat on my face. Yeah. <laughs> and I land flat on my face. <laughs> hey, I'd rather land flat on my face than get a ball to the balls. Okay, I found out some more information about uh, about Mahoney's death. Uh, please tell. For, according to what I'm looking at right now, uh, he had been suffering from cancer for a while, so I think that may have been the cause. Oh. Did it say what kind of cancer, or did it just say cancer? Uh, let me check. It just says cancer. Okay. Hashtag... Cancer sucks. Cancer sucks. Cancer, we hate you. We hate you. Yes, we, do. we hate There's you. Seriously, used to be a cure for it. We well, there you. are some cures, Daniel. Then they'll tell you how. If you're, if you do get diagnosed with cancer, but you spot it early, like it's at a stage zero or stage one, it's easily curable with surgery. Right. But if you get it too late, such as stage four, uh, you have to go through radiation and chemotherapy. And if it shrinks uh, in time, it might be surgically removal, but you have to spot it early. Mm. I'll give you a prime example. You guys know who Larry King is? Larry King, yeah, I've heard of him. Last summer, he went to his doctor for his physical checkup, you know, to check on his type 2 diabetes and everything. But at what point, his doctor suggested getting a chest x-ray like he normally gets, just to see how his heart's doing, because he's a heart patient. So he said, okay. And after the chest x-ray, they noticed that something in one of his lungs looked really funny, and it was cancer. But it was only diagnosed at stage one, so they were able to remove it with surgery easily, and he recovered within a week and went back to work a week later. So yeah, Larry Larry King did have lung cancer, but he caught it in time. So it was easily curable with surgery, so... Because he was a lifelong smoker all the way up until his heart attack in 1987. After that, he never smoked ever again. I have never smoked, period, nor do I ever intend to touch a cigarette. I will admit, I did smoke a cigarette one time before, when I was 17, because my sister got me to try it, and I'll tell you this much... I hated it. Ugh. And I have not touched cigarettes since then. No, I haven't touched cigarettes, period. So Ooh, Smart move. From what, I, from what I've heard, cigarettes can shorten your lifespan significantly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Why do you think they put those warnings on there? May cause yeah. cancer, may cause heart disease, may cause emphysema. Yeah. Which is exactly why I do not ever intend on touching one of those things. Me neither. I don't. I'm never going to touch cigarettes as long as I live again. Has anybody seen that special? Why Charlie Brown? Why? Oh yes, I've seen that one. No, I Wasn't never saw it. Was there a little girl in that one that had cancer and she lost her hair? Leukemia. Yeah. Leukemia. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah. I never saw that one. I've only heard of it. Yeah, it aired in the early 1990s, I believe. It aired in 1990. Yeah. On CBS, if I remember correctly. I think so. Yeah, I think it would have been CBS, because that was when they still had the rights to the Peanuts specials. Yep. Mm -hmm. I believe ABC has the rights now. They yeah. do. So, in 2000. Yeah. And zero. Mm. And 2000, I think, was also the last year that CBS aired the Garfield Christmas special. It was the year 2000, yes. Yeah. I remember is, watching it on CBS when I was 13. I remember watching it for the last time on CBS. Yeah. That's one of the best Christmas specials ever. Oh, I yeah. agree. 
Now, I will say this. I remember getting the Garfield holiday specials on DVD back in 2007, so I can watch the Garfield Christmas special anytime now. Well, so, no, because I have that DVD for that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. But I remember I, it first aired when I was just a little baby, and we had a VHS copy of it along with some other Christmas specials, but somehow, I don't know what happened to it, but I remember watching the Garfield Christmas special every year, all the way up to when I was 13. Yeah. I know, I, I know I have a tape somewhere from, like, a Christmas special that aired in, like, 1992. I don't know what happened to that tape. Yeah, one Christmas special that needs to come back on TV is the Muppet Family Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, Marty, remember I was showcasing that for our Christmas S&B about a over, little over a month ago. Yep, and I showcased the Bells of Fraggle Rock that week. Very good episode. Very good episode. My personal favorites. Well, um, the computer player solved the puzzle, but is it enough to win? I don't think so. Nope, I win the game overall. Now we got a chance to win uh, Connor another bonus prize. Well, I've won $1,950 this game, but let's see what we have to play for. Oh, we have a house worth $120,000. Let's go for it. What? I'm serious, Daniel. There's a house for, for $120,000 up for grabs in the bonus round, so I'm going to go for it. Well, so much for a budget. Did, did they even ever offer that as a prize on the real show? I don't think oh, they did. No, I they never did. Yeah. I know they've offered motorhomes and cars and... Uh, well, uh, Connor's going to be very happy because I know the answer to this. Air traffic controller. Yay! Yay! So his birthday bank's going to go into the five figures. So I think it's 121950 Yeah, it is. Let's add that to the bank. How much does he have right now? He has 162,350. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up for this segment. I'll see you all for the next one. We'll be right back.